Okay, we now proceed to the average of relatives method. Now, in this method, you need to calculate the price relatives in the first place. Now, how would you define a price relative? It is nothing but P1 upon P0 into 100. That is current price or base price into 100. It's often denoted by I or even P. Sometimes in the table, it's just mentioned as index. So, basically, those are nothing but price relatives okay now under average of relatives method we have two methods simple and weighted and under simple you have simple using arithmetic mean simple using geometric mean likewise weighted using arithmetic mean and weighted using geometric mean now in arithmetic mean the simple one you just have to take the arithmetic mean of the price relatives so the formula would be summation of i divided by n <coughs> so is the average of price relatives then next is in geometric mean you have the formula as anti log summation of log i upon n so these are the two formulae under simple using am and using gm now in case of weighted we just have to multiply <coughs> weights and then replace n by summation w that is the total weightage so the first formula becomes summation i times w upon n you change it to summation w and in geometric mean the formula becomes anti log summation of log i times w upon summation w <clears throat> so these are the formulae under which method yes the average of relatives method relatives as in the price relatives hope you understood the entire flow of construction of index numbers We'll be back soon with another interesting video on index numbers. Thank you.